is falling do, do, do. All around us I'm going to run out It's Scotland <laughs> And we're having fun We've bought what's left of a falling down farm in Scotland with around 20 acres of land and together we're trying to put it all back together again into a beautiful family home and in the process share it with you guys. If you never want to miss an update hit the subscribe button and that bell icon but for now let's see what we got up to this time. All right Nugget. Yeah I was tired. Yeah? Yeah. Gonna be okay? Yeah. Right. Anthracite. Anthracite. It's always gonna be a tricky one isn't it? Well I don't think get this. Come with me. Coming. Oh, it's fine. Yeah? Yeah, because this, um, where the slide? Match, matchy matchy. So that yeah. is the decision. Yeah, anthracite. There. I'm going anthracite on the end. Triangle. Yeah. And then, not, yeah, I can't. I can't deal with that. No, no. I'm sorry. It's a flat now. That's fine. On a real grovelling apology, when you're down on your knees, begging and everything. Can I put my hood up then? What's that going to do for your knees? Well, just protect from the rain. So I'd like to say that I'm really sorry to Dan and Dave and everyone else for being such a difficult when it comes to the edgy bits because the fishes. I've already no all of them because. I'm very, I'm struggling a lot with things like aesthetics and I understand the situation and I've compromised on it, partly. <laughs> so eventually, in years to come, she will have probably cast iron guttering. At some point, yes. Got. So for the interim, I just can't. I'm sorry, I just can't deal with the plastic stuff. So um, I'm going with different plastic stuff that doesn't look so plasticky. It's moulded to a different shape. I like it. We've met in the middle. More, more to my side than your side, but we're in the middle. It's okay. I'll win something one day. Well, I did say to Dave when I mentioned like the guttering, mm -hmm. I was like, if this is the one battle that she wins, I can live with it. So I can win the rest? No, I said oh. if this if this is the one battle that she wins. Oh, so I lose the rest. I can live with it. Oh no, Dan, I can't do that. God, I'm still going to be campaigning. I'll pioneer my way through. Anywho, if we bin that off, see ya. Wouldn't want to be ya. They're close enough together for me to be more than happy. So yeah. it would look like an extension of the roof line in a weird way. It just blends it a little bit better than it is. It, I mean, at the same time, we can't really get angry about something not looking like it's in keeping because the whole of that box isn't in keeping no so we just could try and blend it maybe a little bit more perhaps than it is or we've maybe... we've got ideas for that haven't we which we'll cover off at a later today i'm hoping that they'll, they'll work so it, it won't we're not going to make it try and look like it was part but we're also not going to try and make it look like it sits out like a sofa you know how high can you jump? Not high today. No, I'm feeling it. Today. Imagine if I, that you jumped just when you was in mid out and pushed you so you ended up down the bottom of the hill. It'd be fun, that wouldn't it? That would be helpful. That would be really Quite fun. Just hope that you wouldn't land in any nails or anything. It'd be fun if it was you. Anywho, that'll do. Why not test the roof that we've had put on? If you missed the roof update, go ahead and have a check. This is what the weather was like on that day. And then obviously turned to glorious sunshine. So Dan commenced and carried on with his destruction, but not before reading the paper that was in the fireplace first. Kicking things off in the second bedroom, third bedroom, I mean fifth bedroom. It doesn't really matter which bedroom number we're on, but this was the one that he was going to tackle this time. So... Of course, there's always a place to begin and the place where we've been beginning and all of the demo stuff, well, Dan's been beginning, is all of the mouldy bits. So those were the bits where we began and after starting and finding a starting place, it then becomes actually quite quick to go and continue removing everything from everywhere else. We've got quite a lot of footage from this, to be fair, so we might as well just let it play through.
a glorious morning this morning on the farm. Had the dogs out, they've all been walked, load of washing done, that's all on the line drying out. Using the beautiful sunshine that we've been blessed with today. I'm just heading over to the farmhouse, gonna open up all the doors and the windows, get that air flowing through and then carry on ripping things out. Morning, Jeremy. So even though at the moment, obviously there is progress on the roof, but it is just the main flat roof that's been replaced. And as you can see, all of this, like in the grand scheme of things, it's not, it's a small proportion of the roof, but things are already feeling a lot, lot drier, which is great. It means that we are making progress. We are heading in the right direction and things can carry on moving. I almost feel like I want to break into somewhere. Moving on, moving on. So for anyone wondering why we are literally ripping 90% of the walls out in terms of like lath walls slash stud walls, not tearing down brick walls just yet, um, where the roof has had weak points, mainly in valleys, as you can see here, there's obviously been water ingress over probably years, um, which has made the wood deteriorate. This, if you saw it on the video or time lapse, literally just pulled off. And the actual wood condition from the lath is, as you can see, rather end of life. Now, some of you might be genuinely asking the question of why on earth are those wardrobes still in this room? Well, we've got an answer for you. The room with the 40 year old wardrobes and we would like to keep these and refurbish them, sand them down, give them a little paint, sort out all the hinges, etc, etc. Uh, but at the moment they can't get out of this room. One, because the door exists is significantly smaller than the height of the wardrobes and two there is no room to lay them down because as you can see there is an inch maybe two inches clearance from the top of the wardrobe to the ceiling the next problem is that i can't actually shuffle them further into the room because the ceiling drops and that is because there is nothing currently working to fix these joists up. So the ceiling has dropped probably two inches from the edge of the room to the middle of the room. Plan is to continue stripping out the ceiling, take out those joists and hopefully be able to shuffle the wardrobes a bit further forward, lay them down and take them out of the room basically. You may have seen while I've been ripping this area of the wall down, just how easy things are moving. That's because they are completely rotten and there is also woodworm within it. To continue taking this down, I'm gonna disconnect this radiator, then take the rest of the wall out, take this little bit out, and then finish off the room. Dan became a plumber for the bazillionth time on this project to just go ahead and remove this radiator off. It wasn't quite as seamless as it seemed and then commenced and continued with clearing off that lath, but there was a surprise. In Jeremy's mum and dad will be here. One dead bird. Two dead bird. It is really important that we do go ahead and like make sure all of the rot is removed from the place because we need to treat all of this for woodworms so we have to open it all up. But obviously I'm doing my spot checks. Does that, does that window open widen so that I can carry all the wood down? It did. That's similar to Ivy House you're pushing. Oh. Don't worry, the radio, we'll shut the valves off. But... Nugget, when you talk, you're going to have to stop. Well, that's not efficient. No, I know, but I can't hear and neither can anybody else. And when it drops lower, the pressure that's still left in the system, you know, it's turned off and everything, off the still residual pressure. Oh, I don't need to see it. Causes it to trickle. 
I'll pick up. Okay. So I will stick the book up a bit. It's just a ten at the moment. It's a ten. And I'll see if I can fix it. DIY down there. Where? Like that doesn't even touch it. I'm in my natural habitat. Yes. Look how wet that stone is. Uh, yeah, but it's 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 a real boy. Right. I'm a real boy. So basically, the wood doesn't touch no, anything, and that's the situation everywhere. So they're that's all important. they're all the same. You won't be able to see that particularly clearly. Every single roof timber doesn't touch the side, essentially. Um, uh, some of that is just moisture in the stone that's killed it off over 100 years. Other bits of it is because the coping stone literally lets water in from the top on every single one. So, three. Thank you. Happy Sunday. Sunday, Sunday fun day. day. Yeah? Can we make a deal? Yeah? When you come over to visit me, you provide me with a beverage. Okay. Just the last little bits to come out of this room now. Last wall of lath and then the skirting boards to come out and then that's it. She can just dry. So even throughout the process of taking all of this off, the house is drying and drying and drying. Still need to replace and redo the roof in this section, but realistically, progress is good. And then it's time to move on to the mouldiest section of wall, which was the hallway. So started to strip that section. The mouldiness in this area is actually caused by this gutter on the next floor up. And it's just allowing water ingress straight into the wall underneath and around it. So the second that we can sort of clear all of this off and then obviously replace the roof and the guttering in that section, that's going to be the best thing for it. However, I got interrupted on the stairs. Can I just get your opinion on something? Outside? Yeah, in the men's house. Yeah. Is that all right before I do it and you regret me doing it? Yeah. That's in its best condition. No. So I just want to make sure you're up with me ripping it out today. Yeah. Rather than doing it and you not like me. Great. Well, get, get rid, get rid. However, not that bit. I can't promise that. I'm not doing nothing out. I'll try my hardest not to, but I can't promise it. Can you do a bit now so that I can see what happens? Yeah. I'll just work around and just see what happens. Because it's already kind of detached anyway, it's only here that. If you can get it all off in one, like, obviously it'll be in yeah, pieces, yeah, but um, don't, don't lose it. Okay. Don't let it get damaged. You can go well, into the dry shed. To be honest, I'd rather not try and get it off, given the fact that it's all this detail that's attached into it as well. Yeah, leave, leave, just try and retain. That's fine. Okay, go on then, bugger off. Leave me to it. Ciao. And, just... and off I went. Leaving Dan to it is the best thing for him. He enjoys doing this work. So he continued onwards and it just sort of came off quite easily really in that central section where the water ingress behind had been so bad. So the actual quality of the wall behind helped the process of the uh, lime plaster removal. And it, it was really good that it came away so freely because it meant that all of that detailed architraving or coving or whatever the heck it's all called, I'm not that fussy about the terminology there. The main thing is, 
it remained intact, wasn't attached to it, which in our case worked out in our favour. And what I've asked Dan to do as well is just save some of the skirting and the coving from all of the different areas if it is coming off, just so that I can try and match it and replace it when we go through with the kind of like refit out and decoration process. But to be honest, this did come off quite easily. And it's nice to see that there's been, uh, there is drywall behind it. A lot of it is old from a really old section of the leak. And because everybody loves a before and after, here is the before before and then the after. And then I got stuck in on my own project, which I've wanted to do for ages. Jess has decided to uh, do a bit of her own DIY here and managed to give me the camera, which is probably the most dangerous thing she could have probably ever done. I think it's been boring quite well, to be honest. I think so, yeah. It's been, been boring quite well. I think that might go back before it comes forwards. I actually don't know how to do it yet. So Jess, could you see yourself doing DIYs in full, full time? I ain't got time for it. No. Softball. <laughs> work around it and then get it out. My mission here basically is to try and find some form of a fireplace behind this. I did feel there was one, but it could have been lost, bricked up, blocked, whatever the case may have been. And so I needed to prise off the putting it all back together, blocking it up section to see if that was the case. I mean, to be honest, the shape that we've got given to us here suggests that it does exist. So it's just a case of pulling bits and pieces off, which I thoroughly enjoyed. But when I'd started, I was just like so keen to see if there was something there. Just want to know what's behind it. I don't really think anything could hold me back at this point. I'm going to put my coat in the wash. Good. Right. We have a hole. We have a hole. We have a hole. <laughs> I think we have a chimney. It was all worthwhile, Jess, wasn't it? Totally worthwhile. Love it. I did want to see if I could find anything else from behind there. So I did continue onwards. I know I'm not doing this the way that you're supposed to do it. I didn't know what was behind that, whether it was lime and lath, whatever. Uh, but the, I, it took off as much as I could with the tools that I had to my disposal. I did then I've actually request that Dave just gives me a hand whilst he had the drill in his hand. But this was behind the little cover there so super shallow actually really 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 shallow on this section and then when we got behind it we're on with a new job yeah <laughs> after kindly asking permission dave helped to remove that main box section just so that we could get through and in if there was a fireplace or a chimney breast behind this we were always going to put in a new log burner in this section that was always part of the plan so the second we knew that there was a hole all of this was coming out anyway regardless of what was going to happen and up there that's exactly what it looked like so i've got questions about this what are your thoughts i agree small you was excited because i've got back in this been doing a bit of DIY yeah. and you want to show me here. Yeah. So I said, I'll guess exactly what you've done. Yeah. I wasn't having a go. I guess you've exposed a fire that was behind the electric fire in the, the library. Yeah, I mean, it's not exactly what I was expecting. Right. Yeah. It's just getting your opinion. Okay. Yeah? Yeah. Are you excited? Not as excited as you, clearly. <laughs> You're like a kid off blue spies. What do you think? Oh. Okay. Not what I was expecting. Is that wood? No. Oh. Yeah. What is it? Come off a lockdown, Dan. You did this by yourself? Yeah, well, yeah. I'm impressed. Dave helped me take one board off. It's very wet behind there, though. Yeah, I can see that. Okay. Let's see. How high did you take it? Well, it goes all the way, Nugget. Right, so what do we need to do with that? Board it back up? No, open it needs to all dry. Okay. 
Because it was so wet behind. The, all of the stuff had just turned to so all soils coming down. Right, okay. Um, so, so needs ripping out yeah. to dry, and then we can put a log burner in, but you'll probably be able to see the flue all the way. That's fair. I don't mind that. No, me neither. So that's as far as I got. Okay, Arthur. Because, well, the wood bits are on with screws, yeah. but Dave just ended up kicking one out to give us a hand. So that's Dave's footprint. Okay. On the one that was there. Plastering. It is good plastering. So it felt a bit bad when I started hacking it because actually this has done quite well. So the reason why it needs to be open mainly is the left side was much wetter than the right side. And you can it's see what's happened to the stone. Literally, this backs up my idea of literally ripping everything out of everywhere. Yeah, because even if it looks like it's all right, it's, it's not. See you next time.